Alright, understanding a tubular lock and assembling it. We're going to start by showing you that these right here, this is the inside of the lock. It's going to eventually look like that. Okay. I, okay. It's going to look like that. We're going to put the pins in. First of all, if you can see, here's a spring, and here's a pin. These are the lower pins that go into the tubular lock. All right, it goes together just like that. And then very delicately, grab the spring and the pin. And place it in the little holes right here pretty hard to do so once I do that I'm gonna come back okay I've got them all in there you can see no you can't but they're in there they're in each one of these holes that was the first pins with the spring now if you look these pins right here these are the what determine whether or not the lock's going to open or not. Each one is a different size. And what you do is you put these in. This is a little easier, so I'm not going to turn the camera off. You put them in just like that. Put them in just like that, so each pin is going to go in. Now, this one was a longer one, so as you push down, when you push down on it, it only goes that far in. That's the farthest it'll go in. Okay. And then, depending upon, I'm just going to randomly put these ones in. I'm going to put the longer ones, and I'm going to stagger them. Here's a short one, so he'll go, I don't know, right here. Here's a long one. There's a short one, etc., etc., etc. And I actually I lost a pin, so um, I'm not gonna be able to show you that guy. They're pretty small, and if you let go right now, the thing will just go shooting off, and it went flying in my garage. I have no idea where it is. But anyway, you get the idea. There's all your pins, and they're all different heights. Can you see that? They're all a different height. I'll be back. All right. So, knowing that, you should be the lock pick. Um, when it is placed, and I'm getting my homemade tubular lock pick out right now. And this is just a smaller version of one. Okay. Here's my homemade tubular lock pick. And what you can do, as you can see, maybe you can't. Try to put a little shadow on it. Okay, well anyway, looking straight into the pick, there's little pins all the way around. See, this one kind of sticks out a little bit further. And this pin slides up and down. If you notice. Okay, see how it slides? And this one slides. Can you see that? Okay. What I'll do is I'll put these back in place. And now I have to be kind of careful because I don't want these pins shooting everywhere and there's nothing holding them in place, so I'm just gonna do this once. 
you line up your pick And when you push it in, the different height of each pin pushes the tumblers back, pushes them down, or it pushes the pins on your pick back. It's really hard to do without a, um, a case, but I think you kind of get the idea. There, that, that one worked. See this one right here, right where I'm pointing. <laughs> It pushed it back. But each pin lines up. Now I'll try and do this one right now. Okay, you see how it pushes them back? Okay, here's a good. I got it all the way down. Alright, so. See how the pins have all come out more? That's because the pin, the tumbler pins inside do not go down all the way. So, because of that, it pushes these pins out. Okay. Alright, so knowing that, we're going to put the rest of the, tumble, the lock assembly together. Alright, so after these are all in, your case goes on. And it goes on like this. that okay remember I'm missing one pin at the very bottom here because I lost it after that this guy right here goes on and if you can see there's a groove right here where it's raised so when you put this on has this big open gap that means the key is going to turn this way all right so after that that's all history put this guy on there nut and bolt crank it shut and I actually have to, because I uh, disassembled this lock, I have to hold it all together with this screw right here. Okay. Some pins don't go flying everywhere when the case comes off. So that's it. That's a tubular lock, everybody. Completely assembled. If anybody was wondering how I get the tubular lock pick to work so well, this is it right here. This is a big belt sander that I have. So uh, after you get your after you get your tubular lock pick all assembled and everything, when you make it, when you take the pins and you put it in, you know it would look like that. And to get it to go perfect into the lock, what you do is you uh, turn the bell sander on and turn it like this. That way everything is round and the pins don't stick out too far. I'll show you. It's going to get loud. And that's it.